Hey guys, my name is Siniak and welcome back to another episode of our Transport Fever 2 Australian Transportation Company. Where last episode boys, we literally replaced all of our vehicle runs near Perth with train lines and I've never seen anything look so damn efficient in all my life. What we've currently done boys is we've got a bunch of train lines now set up. We've got the grain being picked up here, delivered to the food place there. And in process, it then re-picks up the grain here, delivers it to the food processor over here, thus making a super efficient route. We have a train line picking up wood to the planks, a train line picking up planks to the machines factory. And then we have uh, train lines picking up ore and coal to the steel. Steel being dropped all the way over to the machines factory as well, where we currently have a vehicle route dropping the machines down to Perth. Now, we're gonna completely change this up again. We're gonna take it to the next level to make it that one step official. Uh, in, in efficient, sorry. And then um, it's going to then pave the way for how we then expand away from this area to different parts of Australia. So this is the turning point, boys. This is the turning point right now where we say, well, not goodbye, but we say, uh, be right back, Puff, as we go and extend in other areas as we grow off this network. So what I want to do today, boys, is... For you to smash the like button down below to describe if you are new so you get notified when more episodes do come out but i want to get the food being re-delivered to perth because we since deleted that line and i want to try and implement some type of a train line into it might be a little bit difficult but we'll figure it out also bring the machines down via train and see if there's any way in which we can get goods being delivered it's a it's a third kind of um What's the word for it? Supply that it needs? I actually have a goods factory just up here, which requires steel and plastic. We could get steel from our oil line, um, but Perth is going to have to take some very, very interesting changes. So, how are we actually going to do it? Well, we need to bring a train line in, but Perth is already hindered by this huge mountainous edge, which is kind of annoying. It really is kind of annoying, but there's definitely ways in which we can kind of work with this to make it to our benefit. Um, it's going to be a huge elevation change, but I reckon we should be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. Uh, I've got nearly 70 million in the bank, and we're going to spend that money right now on flattening some terrain up the brush strength and the size by pushing Perth slightly back. Now, by the looks of it, I'll go to only here, by the way. By the looks of it, we've got some kind of uh, terrain painting. On the go right now which we should be able to paint it and kind of sort it out ourselves where's the grass is this the style of grass we've been going for yeah so we can paint this ourselves anyway to make it look kind of okay la -di da -di da but what i want to do and it might take a couple of uh tries this but i want to kind of run a little train line down the back end of perth hopefully no one will notice what i'm doing but it is going to take a little bit more than what I've just done. So we're going to push this out to about there. And then we're going to have to try and make it look like it all works together. You might even get a few buildings come from it. You might even get a few buildings come from this. And then somehow we've got to bring the train line out and around to connect up to this train line. Which I said before, it's going to be so difficult. But if anyone can make a monstrosity out of this, it's your boy. <laughs> So what we'll do, right, what we'll do, boys, is we'll place the train line down and try and connect it to the road. So the further I place it down, the more the train line can elevate up and round and in. And I want to try and see if I can get it to, like, a connecting V just here. I know we've got this here, but if we get the signals just right, there shouldn't be any issues. There shouldn't be any issues. So buildings, and I'm going to... Do I treat it as an end station? I suppose it doesn't really matter. But let's do cargo like this. Let's slightly rotate it so it's kind of plain on. And I don't want to fully connect it in. Because I want to give it a little bit of space. And I want to make it super... Do I want to make it, do I want to make it super long? Because maybe eventually this will be converted into a passenger station as well at the same time. So it's not picking anything up. It's only dropping goods off. So it doesn't need to be that long. But if I make it long, I can put a connection either end. For the vehicles to make the station reach more of the the city which is probably a better idea 
So I'm going to bring it to there so I don't ruin the buildings in front. So if I place it like this, right, there's going to be a lot of configuring. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be a lot of configuring. And if I just put a road behind where we don't delete the buildings, but we bring a connection in. Actually, let me, let me make this go a little bit further down. Make this go a little bit further down. And then that building's going to get oofed anyway, so it is what it is. But a connection there. I'll leave this to be the last connection. And I might as well go all the way down to here. Oh, I should have kept player ownership off. Oh, what well, an absolute... Okay, it's not going to cost me a fortune. We're okay. We're okay. So, unfortunately, I will have to delete big chunks of perf right now. And do I let them figure everything else out themselves? I think I will. If they want to create additional connecting roads, they can do so. Right. Configure right now. So, uh, cargo buildings. We can plant... This is what I want to do. I want to put, like, a building either side and the ends. Providing we can squeeze in. I think the, the road goes on a slight diagonal. So what I'll do, I'll configure it first and place it in. And then build the road to it. So if I just come off... There we go. You, you, you wouldn't know any difference, okay? You, you wouldn't know any difference. So, again, the reasoning behind all that was... Is by having the buildings either end, it then gives us a little bit of a wider range of where we can kind of reach the buildings within Perth. Thus meaning it will deliver more food, grow more, you know, deliver more machines, grow the city a bit more than where it currently is. Now, it is difficult because of how it's currently situated, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Now, what I'm also going to do is put a platform either side. This is solely so if multiple trains come in at once, we can unload on both sides. Now, don't worry about the mountain because I will kind of push it back a little bit more. I might even take it all the way down just to kind of help Perth a little bit of growth because it is going to be one of our major cities on this side of Australia. Now, we want to get it to connect up to there, which is going to be even more of a difficult task. So let's just see where it would maybe suggest. So even at this point here... We're not really getting the incline that we would have hoped for. So it says that the slope is too much, which I'll be honest with you right now, it kind of is. It kind of is. Now, it doesn't have to connect to there. I can maybe connect it over here, but it's a case of we've got to really get it to this level. Now, there's no issue there with the the slope which is okay we're gonna have to kind of transform a lot of this stuff so let's build my little v connection so if i brought this let's say i brought this out and making it drop as much as i can now i know a lot of you guys don't like the fact that i don't like using tunnels and it's only because i like to see the trains for me personally one dude was like so yeah, I'm not even watching this series no more. You won't even use tunnels. If that is why you're here, hasta la vista, baby. Because <laughs> I'm trying not to use tunnels. I really like the idea of not using tunnels. Only because I like to see the trains. Um, it is what it is. Right. So, trying to reduce this again. But obviously, no tunnel. Because it's going to be a nice transition all the way down. So the reason I'm making that a little bit longer, so I can make the connection on the V a bit smoother. So if I go from then here into there, does that look about right? I think so. I think it looks right. There we go. No issues around there, is there, boys? A little bit of smoothing of the terrain will help things out. And I've got to try and bring this all the way down to here. So what I'll do is I'll delete this road to begin with first. 
I'll replace it back in, but I need this to transition down to there. Now, is it as easy as to transition in? Do you know what, guys? I might kind of build a tunnel here to connect in just to keep you happy, okay? I might build one tunnel and it'll be the only tunnel you're getting. <laughs> only because it, it kind of feels like it would make a little bit of sense here. So, right, raise... Right, that's as much as you're going to get it to raise, I think. But if I bring the train line, for example, to here and to there, and then got you to bend into there, it will tunnel there, which is cost effective. The gradient is ridiculous, but it should be okay. See, guys, let's look, let's see. A tunnel. A tunnel, boys, a tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Let me now connect the road in. So, unfortunately, I'm going to put it to a country road, but unfortunately, I've had to delete what was there. I'll try and replicate as best as I can. You don't get the highway that was once was has to go down to this but works out fairly well works out fairly well so let's just do the terrain in real quick right now just to make this area look pretty or well, i say pretty make it look half decent so i'm going to smoothen off the top it we're going to push this back a little bit further to be honest with you so let me just smoothen this first smoothen all that all the way down to here glorious 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 it looks like it's all now part of it you know what? I think that's actually going to work pretty well. So the flattening tool, I'm going to push it back a big chunk more. And what I'll also do, right, is push it back down here to give Perth a little bit more space to grow. Because with what we're about to do to it, it's going to need that space. It's truly and utterly going to need that space so i think what we do first is we smooth them from the top and then slowly come down to meet the bottom edge it's never going to be perfect it's never going to be perfect but we'll add the rock on it as well to give it that effect again like what it originally had i don't know if this is how perth is in real life with a big cliff edge hanging down over the edge i don't know Truly, I don't know. There's not much more I can get out of that. So we use the paint tool again real quick. We'll paint around. Let me increase that brush size. And then, where's the rock then? Is this it here, the asphalt? Where's the rock, boys? Is this it here? Cliff? We'll find out. Kind of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. So I've reduced the strength of the brush. Okay, maybe up the strength a bit more. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? We might have to move the trees, don't get me wrong. This is one thing I've never done in this game. Is painted the terrain. Does this now feel like what it once was? Right, if I bring that strength right down. And we just paint down here for the transition. Ta da! Right, how do I delete trees is the next question. Eraser. Oh, very easy. Oh, that's very easy. I didn't realise it was so easy in the game to do it. Right, cliff edge. I don't know if that's good or not, but it shall do for now. I'll probably have to make it a little bit prettier in the future. But there we go. We have the connection. Perth can now grow a little bit. I don't know how it's going to go about doing it. 
but it can slightly grow a little bit more. Maybe I kind of... I was about to say, kind of draw a road down here, but they'll naturally build the roads themselves anyway. It might work out, it might not. Because sometimes just building it yourself is a, a better way than letting the city build it. Because you can almost control what then happens. I can either do it like that, or just build this way. We'll let the city pick itself. We'll let the city pick itself. So, without doing anything else right now, I am back into play mode. I've just spent more money than I probably ever spent to date. Yeah. I've spent 56.9 million in expenses. Oh my goodness me, that's ridiculous. But, I get all this access right now to Perth via a train line. I don't know if I'm a fan of this cliff edge now, if I'm completely honest with you. I think, right, well it is. I think it's the, the grass. I think it needs to be pushed back like that a little bit. That's better. I, I feel a bit better now. So, we can now get the food and the machines delivered over here. Now, food-wise, we're producing food over here and over here, but we're technically not producing it because we have no line, so it won't produce, but it's getting stored, the goods. So I need a train line to pick up from here, drop off, then to go back up, pick up from there, and then drop off. So it's a two-pickup system on one train line. So, new line. If I pick or choose here, and then down to there, uh, to here back down to here it's our food route so we'll make it orange why not uh, we'll call it our perf perf food even though we already do we ever have a perf food no we have a perf grain that's what it is so perf food perfect now Jordan interchange here uh, does it really matter what platform we get it to pick up on I suppose we can make them use both sides Perf halt down here. Yeah, get them to all use both sides in every single platform. It will help us out, but we don't have the crisscrosses in place yet. We don't have the crisscrosses in place, so put you there. Put you there, that gets rid of that issue. And we just need to now drop the signals down. So we should have a signal there. We should have a signal here. Should have a signal there. Now, my concern is the trains are too long to be waiting here. Hmm, I think we might get away with it for now, but it is a concern. It is going to be a concern. And I'll drop a random one here. There we go. There we go. So. I'm not 100% sold on these signals. Time will tell. Time will tell. So let's buy a train for it then. So it needs to carry food and food only. Steam. Do we have diesel trains yet? Not yet. Oh, there's not the new plane. So nothing too expensive. So I think we go for the PLM 220. Yeah, there's no need to go too crazy. What are the other trains got right now? Oh, that's got the A35. Do you not know? No, I reckon we could do the A35. I reckon we'll be all right. And then cargo-wise, it needs to carry a bunch of food, which is the box cars. You'll ca we'll make it carry an 80 capacity. So per food, see how we get on with this. So that replaces the line, a vehicle line that we once had that we no longer have. Oh, they've actually expanded a little bit, by the way. Interesting. Interesting, boys. Interesting expansions there. Let me see how they do the rest of it. Um, so that's going to be pretty interesting, which now means that we do start seeing food being produced. Granted, it'll take a bit of time. It'll take a little bit of time. Are we seeing any over here? Yeah, there's now one. We can actually upgrade the capacity of the grain train. 
but I'm not going to push the boat too much just yet. I'm not going to push the boat too much just yet. So, the other thing that we can do is also replace this vehicle run right now with the machines, with a train run with the machines. So, Perth machines... Well, first get rid of the vehicles on it. Perth machines, sell them. Let's get a little bit of money back. And rather than delete the line, I'll just rejig the line. So add a station, which will be here. And it goes and stops over here. Now, they've got an issue. Could not connect to all stations. Why? What is your issue that you cannot connect to all stations? Huh? Um, I can get to utilize both platforms. Or maybe I can't. What, is there an issue here? I'm confused to why we can't utilize... Right, you know what? Delete the line. We'll redo it. Just in case I mess something up then. I must have, like, clicked on this again or something. I don't know. I don't truly know. But it's our machines line. So machines will make a grayish color. And we'll get them to be able to pick up from both sides. Free us up a little bit. I suppose it truly doesn't really matter. And then uh, this is our Perf Machines. Easy and simple enough, right, boys? And then we'll buy a train for this. So I'm not sure how busy this place is with the steel delivery. So I don't think the train can be too big. I don't think the train can be too big. So steam. We'll buy the same train anyway because... You know, I'd rather... Get it all up on anywhere. We're carrying machines, aren't we? So we need boxcars. So I reckon I'll just get a capacity of... 48 for now. And just see how we get on with that. Right, perf machines. There we go. So we've added a few more trains to this whole line in general. So there'll be it'll be a lot more busier than it was. This is now coming in with 29 food on board. Dropping it off. Is it making profit yet? Not quite just yet. you got to give them time for the factories to actually, you know, produce the food. But I had 29 on. This has got 22 on currently. This has got 30. You've got to give them time for their numbers to up. Which you could probably argue, well, get more grain delivered, Sunniac. Yeah, it's something that we definitely need to think about doing. Is that the grain train? It is. Let's edit this then. So it's currently got these little gondolas on. A 120 capacity. It does make the train a bit longer. Here's the train there. I can see it's having issues on this little uh, V section here with the signals. Is that the machines one? Yes. So that's going to pick up machines for the first time. But the downside to this is... Steel is so far away, it takes a while to get over here. Now, you could upgrade the steel run. How much steel is currently here? There's 112. So manage this vehicle to also carry more. We'll do a 120 capacity on that as well. Now, for this to produce more, it needs more stuff to be delivered. Now, it's getting plenty of ore. What's going on with the coal? The coal's now on the way over. There's a lot of goods on both these platforms, so I'm going to actually configure both those lines, or manage both of those vehicles. So select it, edit both of those vehicles right now to add more gondolas on them. Give them a 120 capacity as well. 
Making them super longer so they deliver more goods at once. I mean, I don't think they have an issue with them these making money anyway. They make money perfectly fine, but now we're about to make even more cash with upgrading their capacities. Which should then, in, in turn, be able to produce more steel by the time the steel train comes back. So I think it might be a case of now just waiting a little bit. Just actually waiting a little bit. That's all we can do. There's ways in which we can kind of improve things, like having this train line here maybe turn off a separate route that goes into a separate station to reduce the amount of vehicles or trains passing through this section. You know, there's, there's, there's many ways in which you can kind of look at it. Or just add a few extra signals. In places to speed up the process. I think the one there just allow these guys to enter into the station. But we'll just see how this gets on a little bit. We'll just see how we get on with this now. Right? You know, you've got this machine run, train line coming in, picking up 29. It's already made some money anyway, but not profit. But the one's really loving it right now. It's definitely going to be Perth. We should see. We got a little bit of a dink going down where I deleted stuff. Now we should have a huge uproar. So, the lines in general then. Is everybody making money? What's not making money right now? It's our Perth food, Perth machines. The two lines I've just created. <laughs> you got to give them time. But you could argue we need more grain being delivered. Right, how much did you pick up? 39. Fair enough. This train's coming in with 120. It is 2 to 1. Got to put that out there. So I could need a second train. I could not. It all depends. That's an 80 capacity. You do need like a 2 to 1. So that needs to be like a 160 capacity in reality. But give it time. That's all we can do right now is just give it some time. And then we should start to see things slightly change. Now, that's all good. Like I said, give it time and we'll come back and tweak what needs tweaking. Now, one thing I do want to tweak is this whole oil run line that we have set up. Because it's not really that efficient as you would think it would be. It's not truly as efficient as you think it would be. And I want to change it to be super efficient so we can then start shipping this fuel. Because we have Geraldton, Esperance needing fuel over here. I can actually deliver some food to Geraldton as well. So that's another thing that we can eventually do. Uh, food to Caf uh, Caratha, if that is how you pronounce it. Fuel as well. Food over here. So there's all places that need these goods that we are producing. So, what happens with this oil line right now? It's that big, I can't even zoom out to show you. Maybe we can get it in this angle. We pick up oil. We pick up crude oil. We drop it off. We then go ahead and um, pick up oil. Drop it off. No, sorry. I think we pick up crude oil, drop it off. Pick up oil, deliver it, drop it off. On the way back, it picks up crude oil, drops it off there. Now, that works well on a one-route system, and it's worked well to this you know, entire point, to the point where it is our most profitable line. But I'm going to now split it into two lines. That way we can control it a lot better. We can get these, these two refineries to produce a lot more oil a lot faster. So it should work out. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a simple back and forth where we pick up, drop off, pick up, drop off, pick up, drop off, pick up. There, fine, easy, we get it. Then we're going to have another route that simply picks up, drops off. So there's two lines overlapping one another. Now it does get a little bit tricky. It will get a little bit tricky with what's going on. Because of how the stations are currently set up. There's no bypassing route. The only bypassing station you would need is technically this one over here. So like I said, it's going to get a little bit tricky. So I reckon I'm ready to mess things up slightly. So let's pause all of this. Let's go to our oil run. I still can't pronounce it. And Esperance is where we don't want it to go. So delete you. So it goes to... I still can't say it, guys. And I, I still... I'm, I do apologize. 
to Brun, to Laverton, to Brun. Does it perfectly, and we'll get it to utilize both platforms where it can. Simple. Then we'll set up another line that picks up from over here, drops off to over there. Simple, 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 simple. We get it, okay? We kind of get it. But the issue relies, well, first issue is here, where it would be nice to have a bypassing route. Now, I don't know how easy it's going to be to kind of configure this train line. It might be a case of I delete you on this one side. Right, delete that road. So, configure you. So, get the train tracks. Uh, platforms. So this is the only station where they one line has to go through it, one line stops at it. So it makes more sense to kind of connect it like this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kind of get the connection. But we'll figure it out anyway. We'll figure it out. So we kind of need to now change this. We're going to delete from there. Because we've got to now put the little kind of connections in. So the track from here will then go into this middle one instead. So nothing really changes on that part. Apart from a connection there. And the connection there. And the uh, good old Chrissy Crossy just here. And then the signal just there. So apply the same logic here. I'll delete all this. I'd rather delete a little bit further back to have like a little bit of like a, a smoother transition, so to speak. And then this one would have it going in just there, right? Yeah. So that works out pretty well. And in terms of the line right now, you can see that the bypassing route uses the bypassing platform. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But obviously, I've got to now get all this connected on. I'm hoping the road can elevate up. So if I utilize you, if I just do that little section there and then bring that down. Can we do like a, a bend? Bendy, wendy. Right, it's all now reconnected, which is perfect. So that works there. All fine. Now, we don't need a bypassing route here because the two lines do stop and utilize this. So there's not really a fat lot I can kind of do there. No. If I change it to purple. Yeah, it comes in. Do we have like a second line there? I can see like a light gray or is it me? No, I think it's the, the dark gray route utilizing both stops, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so what it's delivering crude oil, isn't it? Yeah, so I think the we'll make it like a darker gray. But it is what it is. Um, okay, so this will be called our uh, Esperance. No, we've got crude oil. We'll call it the same thing. Con Anura Oil. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I still honestly do not know. And what we'll do. We'll initially uh, manage the vehicles on the crude oil route. And I'll take one, two, three, four, and put them on the oil route. Is what I'll do. Just slightly switch it up a little bit. Now, give this a moment for them to now figure out what in the world is now going down. So I've moved some trains over to the other route. Switching things up slightly, which means that these two oil refineries should get the oil more often, thus upping the shipment numbers and eventually upgrading themselves. So give that five minutes just to figure out what in the world has just happened, and then we'll go back and we'll change the trains. I'll upgrade them, remove them, replace them, increase them, whatever it may be, we will do it. We will do it, boys. I might even reduce it down to like one train. 
But just let them figure out what's going down first. Let me figure out what's going down. So we might see those two. Well, we will see the line now drop in money revenue because of what's now happening. But the Perth Grain one has one train, so we'll see how the rest of it kind of gets on. Now, shipment numbers are increasing. I wonder if we might be able to get it to upgrade. We might be able to, which will be a big help. That train's going back right now, finances-wise. We haven't really increased it, but we're not really producing any more food. In general, anyway. Once it upgrades, we'll get more hungry, and we'll upgrade the actual train itself. But Perth's got to be loving it right now, haven't they? Yeah, look at that. Vroom. <laughs> yeah. Now, in terms of getting plastic over here, I do need to set up a plastic run. But also, it needs steel. Now, we can get steel from over here, but it's all determined on how much steel is being produced. There's 117 currently waiting. Where is the steel train? Are you the steel train? No. You're the steel train. 120 on. So it does happen. Once I know it starts get, it's starting to get in a little bit of an excess, we could set up a second route. To go. Oh, it's actually upgraded. Uh, second line to deliver over here. Right. Okay. Perfect. Right. Do you reckon this has got enough time right now? Wait now. Figures out what's going down. Maybe. Maybe not. But we shall see. So we should still have the same amount of oil on the platforms. That's waiting for something. Well, I don't quite know what it's waiting for. Oh, because you can't move to the next stage because of what's going down. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and just delete them all now. So, pause. If I select all the vehicles on these lines and then sell them, we're going to redo them, okay? I don't mind selling them because I'm going to redo them. So, buy vehicles. Uh, steam and... We'll stick to the A35, A35. Now, cargo wires, oil containers. We'll add a capacity of... This is way too big, isn't it? 126, and I'll buy... How long is the route? Do you reckon three will be okay for the oil route? So the crude oil line. Could be, could be way too much, to be honest with you. And then if I get a... Mm, one or two. We'll do one for the, cr for the oil line. Oh yeah, you, you can't find a path, can you? I just realized that you can't find a path. Right, I'm going to have to do something really, really awkward. Right, very awkward. <laughs> very awkward. But that would do it. So putting the trains on there straight away, so hopefully we don't lose any of the demands. At least that's what we're hoping for anyway. I'm just hoping that free trains is enough, because that does completely clear the platform. I mean, free trains could be too much. I mean, it is generating oil pretty quickly. Once they're nicely spread out, it should be pretty good. That's all we can hope for, right? That's all we can hope for. So this train now comes in. Completely loads up, leads 30 odd on the platform. And then off that then goes. So I don't think it will generate enough right now for the third train, but if it gets pretty close, it just shows us, even with them, you know, arriving at the station that soon, there's definitely enough on the line in general. We can maybe even add like a fourth train in, but I'll keep it to three because when we get the new trailers coming out, the new cargo trailers, those capacity numbers will be dramatically increased. 
So obviously this won't be fully loaded, but it's still pretty amazing. So how much does it kind of go away with not having any on? So it loses out on 15, which there's almost 15 on there now with how close they just came along. So that's now scheduling down. And then we should then eventually start seeing this producing a lot of, of the refined oil. So got to give this time to also do what it's going to do. So this is the first right, train coming in for the refined oil. So I've reduced it, thus minimalizing the amount of trains on the line. And hopefully, it will make more money. Because they're bigger carriages, bigger trains, and they're more likely to be full eventually. So we'll see what happens. We'll ultimately just see what happens. So that's picking up. And off it goes. Glorious. Right, let's we'll keep our eyes on that. We've completely changed that route altogether. We've completely changed it all together right now. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how it now progresses. Um, right, very good. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. So, I think we've given this a little bit of time right now to pass through so we can kind of play around with it. Now, are all the lines making money? Forget the oil run right now because we kind of changed it. The machines line almost is. It just needs a little bit more machines to carry, I'm assuming. Now, the food line is not. So we need to up the amount of food that they do carry, which means the Perth grain is not meeting the current rate. So what I could do is maybe add more to it or add a second train. Second train and such a short line. But then a long train on such a short line. I could have two smaller trains. We'll edit it. And it's a tough one, isn't it? We'll, we'll edit it. And reduce it down to 100. To then duplicate it. So we've got two. So that gives the, the rates increased. <laughs> we see how the two gets on. Maybe I should have kept them at 120, both trains. So, Perth Grey, manage vehicles. Edit them. <sighs> yeah. We'll see. We'll, we will see, boys. We will see. So, definitely going to get more delivered now. We've now doubled the deliveries, which in turn should double the food that it produces. Which should then double the delivery going in, which should double the amount of money this train then makes. That's what you would assume. That is what you would assume. So we'll just see. We'll just see what the changes come from this. It will be interesting. Now, the machine line... That's got to be down to the fact that we're just not getting enough steel. Now, there's plenty of steel on the platform. Where's the steel train? So the steel train's just delivered. Finances are pretty good on that. You could argue a second train could be in order. Definitely getting enough coal and ore now, I think. I don't know. I'm not still not 100%. Maybe it's not. There's still so much on the platforms. So, the steel line, because we're not going to produce the, the goods just yet, we'll um, actually manage the vehicles. We'll add a second train. 
on that line. Double the amount of uh, goods that get delivered there. Because it's such a long distance, it just kind of makes a little bit of sense. Now, for those lines, the Esperance ones. Um, Esperance, ore, and coal. We'll add two more gondolas on both. I know it doesn't make much of a difference, but it kind of like increases the numbers ever so slightly. Picking up a load of steel. Off it goes. Until we can get bigger gondolas on the trains. Because I don't want to build them too long. Because it slows them down. And the weight for the current engine on board. But it's just about fine tuning it all now as well. Is it matching the rate, fine tuning it, you know, all that kind of jazz. And how much oh it was over here. How much have these got? I do feel like we need another train or two on these. We're okay with the rate of it. This is the fuel line, isn't it? Yeah, finances, making money. So, now we change those two lines. The crude oil shot back up, now making more money than it was originally, which is amazing. But then you also have to add the, this money onto it because it was originally one line. So that's worked out pretty well. All my lines are now making money. Crazy. They were all making money. You might reduce a little bit here and there, but... Per food was making money? Oh, those numbers are increased. It's just like producing more food. That's real good to see. That is real good to see right now. Oh, is that the food train coming in? No, that's the machine train. Where's the food train then? That's it there. I mean, you could argue the train's also a little bit too big for its needs. There's also that argument you can make as well. But once those shipment numbers increase, we'll start making more money in general as well. Oh, that's my biggest concern. Not having enough food, enough grain on the platform. But you've got to get these leveled up, don't you? you got to get them leveled up. Yeah, we're officially not going to have enough grain to send back. Yikes. But once these get leveled up and get more hungry, I'm hoping the farms will put more shipment on here. They'll produce more. we just got to get those, um, like I said, shipment numbers up now at that point. I want to see how much it increases by this delivery now coming in. We'll find out now. So 47. It actually went down. How dare you go down slightly? Oh, sorry. No, that's transport numbers, isn't it? Isn't the shipment numbers needing more people to deliver to? I think that might be the case. Yeah, that, that might be the case. I might need a second place to deliver the food to. To really up it. But as long as we're not losing money right now, I reckon we might be okay. Because the factory's got loads of food there stored, so they'll keep producing. So it is the food route losing a bit of money. So in terms of finances, I could take it like the two two additional carriages off it. Let me manage the vehicle. So they carry what each? Eight. Eight, eight, is 16, 24. So in reality, you can remove three. Reducing the expenses to maybe hopefully make it break even until we get more stuff delivered on it. Right, that should work out. Should work out, boys. 
Let's pick up a load of uh, refined oil. Can't believe how much money we're now making. Look at look at that. When we spent all that money on doing perf, look at what we were making. Now look 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 look, 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 look at what we're making. It's that much I can't even English. Words won't even come out of my mouth. That is ridiculous, boys. That is ri ridiculous. Um, more coal needs to be delivered, boys. Get that coal delivered right now. It's crazy to think we can have a delivery of coal and they'll use it all by the time the train gets back up the hill. It's wild to think that. It really is wild to think that. But this area right now could pretty much self-run its 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 own. I mean, there's still little tweaks and stuff that we can do to it to kind of make it continue. Um, but it can pretty much run its own. We need to replicate some systems like that over here, which we'll do next episode 100%. We're going to use Melbourne. Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne. Um, as the focal point to begin with. And we'll kind of create a network around here. And then eventually, I want to create a hub there and a hub over here. Oh, Brisbane now demands machines. So we can transfer the goods between the two hubs and also then maybe work towards setting up a high-speed train network. So where's Brisbane? Brisbane is over here. It now requires machines. Damn. Damn. Look at it for them, there's a machine place nearby. So, not a problem. Not a problem. It's all part of the fun, but I just can't believe how much money we're now making. So, because we're now making big cash, we can look in towards setting up big investments into vast networks. So, we got to look more regional than locally. Is what we've got to do, boys. More regionally than locally. So, I'm assuming this is the coal, tr coal train coming back in. Is this, is this the coal train? No, that's the ore train. By the time the coal train... No, that is the coal train. So, by the time the coal train gets back up the hill, it's used all the coal it originally delivered. Isn't that hilarious? I find it hilarious, anyway. I do find it hilarious. But it's all part of the fun skis. It's all part of the fun skis. Right, lines. Adelaide food is now losing money. Per food, are you making money? Yes. Your expenses have now been reduced, so you're now making cash. Adelaide food. Oh, it swings and roundabouts when it makes food, uh, makes money. Fair enough, fair enough. But we'll leave this area alone for a little bit now, boys, and we'll start replicating on the on the east coast. We'll leave the west coast alone for a bit. Replicate the east coast. And then eventually we'll try and connect the two networks together. Wow, this is exciting. If you are enjoying the series so far and excited to see where it's going to go, it's just Australia is so big, it's going to take a while to get a full network up and running. But when we do, boys, we are making some serious cash money about it. <laughs> Guys, until next time, I will see you all soon. So good. Bye.